Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest has grown and out of the house, my middle daughter is a college student, but she is home for the summer. And then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we are doing my quarter two of 2023 sinking funds update. So I already have the beginning totals. Um, that I transferred over from last quarter. So I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as I can and we'll see if I made progress. But I know the beginning of quarter two, I had some major car repairs done. So it will probably be a loss, but we'll see how bad of a loss it is for this quarter, we'll see. All right, so we're gonna start with, the, we have three pages. So I'm gonna try, like I said, try and get through this as quick as I can. We're gonna start with the travel binder. And this is the binder that will be used to travel back and forth to Kentucky, where my daughter lives and is getting married. So for travel, we have 120, 40, 60, 85, 185. So that is a $50 addition, not bad. And spending, so we started at 120, 120, 40, 60, 70, 170. And that is also a $50 addition. Moving on to beauty. Beauty, we have 120, 40, 55, 155 in beauty, which is a $55 addition. So this binder is looking good because I have not spent anything from it. Miscellaneous, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. which is a $30 addition. Moving on to gas, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 75, 175, which is a $55 addition there. And food, we have 100, 20, 40, 65, 165 for food. which is a $50 addition, and tips. Tips, we have 20, 30, 45, 50, 2, 54, 56, 58, 62, 4, 6, 8, 72, 4, 6, 8, 82, 83, 84, 85 dollars for tips. which is a $30 addition, not bad. And finally, this is a new category because we didn't have anything for attire. Um, we have 110, 15, so the whole amount is an addition because this is a new category. So let's see the difference here. We had $1,145 in this binder. $1,145 minus $710 equals $435 addition. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, next binder we're moving on to is the savings binder. And some of this was spent. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start with Ari. She has one, two, three, 400 in the high yield savings and 25, 425 for Ari. Which is a $25 addition. Not huge, but it's still something. And then Audie has one, two, three, four hundred even in her savings, which is a $65 addition. And I did, um, that includes the 25 from my mom, where I think that we added the 25 for Ari last quarter. Um, so technically not all of that was from me. 25 of it was from my mom, but that's okay. 
All right, here's the first one that's gonna be a loss. My savings only has $20. I did use a bit of it um, for my car. So we lost $120, oops, $120 in my savings. But like I said, I knew I was gonna have some, a big hit on a bunch of these. Australia has one, two, 300 in the high yield savings, 20, 40, 60, 80, 380 in Australia. So close to another prop bill here. So that is a $20 addition. I don't know why I'm putting pluses here and I didn't up there. All right, moving on to Ari's car. And I might take Ari's money and put it in her, um, in the high yield savings, but we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 even for her car savings, which is a $30 addition. And then my new car has a whole $20. I did use that to get my car fixed in early April as well. So that is a loss of $220, ouch. And then my old bills collection, we have 532, 34, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So for Oh, my old bills collection, we have $570, not a big addition here, but it's still something added. Okay, so let's see what the damage was. Two thousand. $315 was the total for this binder, but we had $2509. So we lost $194 total, which isn't too bad considering how much both of those were. So, all right, moving on. <laughs> All right, moving on to the new home binder, and these are going to have some losses as well. We did spend a good amount from decor and furniture, so we're going to start with decor. has $55. So what is that, 205 loss? 260 minus 55. Yep, we lost 205 in there. I keep saying lost, but we spent it. It's what it's meant for, right? So I shouldn't be saying lost, but... We have 20, 40, 55, also in furniture, which is 345. Let's see, uh, 400 minus 55, yeah, $345 de deduction there. Moving on to appliances. Now we have not spent from appliances. So we have one, two, three, four hundred and ten dollars but we also haven't added too much there. Just a $10 addition, but it's still something. All right, outdoors is one we've spent from a bit too. Outdoors we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. 180 is not too bad considering we've spent a bunch of it. And it will be going down again. So that is $30, $50 loss, right? Yeah. That's 20, 30, yeah, $50. Now I'm second guessing myself, 230 minus 180. Yeah, $50. And security has 50, 70, 95 dollars. which is $10 addition. And finally is home maintenance and we have not spent out of here. So there should be a good chunk added to this. Home maintenance, we have one, two, three, 20, 35. 335, which is a $35 addition. So let's see the damage here. So we have 1,000, 
$130, so that's a $545 difference. That's a big difference. That's bigger than, whew. Yeah, that's that's bigger than this one here, the 194, but that's okay. Like I said, this was, they were used on the, what they were meant for. So I'm not gonna be upset about spending money on things, oh, let's go like this, that that's what we're saving the money for. That's what sinking funds are for. We're not just to sit there. They're not savings accounts. Um, some of them are savings. A few of them are savings. That's why they are pluses for those two, at least mine I had to use, but. Four, five, nine, zero. We're gonna take that from four, eight, nine, four equals. So total loss was $304. And I'm, I'm saying loss and I don't mean it in a negative way. I'm just saying um, that's the difference in those three binders. But we're gonna move on to the second page. Okay, we're going to start with long term, and some of these also were used for my car maintenance, so there will be um, some big differences here too. But we're going to start with glasses. We have one, two, twenty, forty, two forty in glasses, and so we are adding thirty dollars there. Passports was one I did use for my car maintenance. We have twenty-five because it was not a fun. I felt it was a fund that I felt was okay to take from at the time. So that would be 295. Yeah, $295 we used from there, or difference, I should say. Moving on to orthodontics, we have one, two, 20, 40, 60. 260 for orthodontist. So we added $25 there. Student loan, zero, it's still zero. And moving on to health. I know we paid a bill with that, so we have $20 in health. So that is a loss of $60. Moving on to swim team. Now swim team, I also, um, Paid half of summer swim to my sister. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 160 right now in swim. And we have built that back up nicely because it was depleted. So 225 minus 160 equals $65. We're still behind 65 from where we were, but that's okay. And of course, car maintenance, like I said. That's where a lot of these were spent. So we have 120, 130 for car maintenance. So we had 405 minus 130. So we, we are $275 off of where we were there. <laughs> All right, moving on to my envelope, we have 40. So that is $25 addition there. And that should look better than what it was. We have 20, 40, 60, 70. So that is growing nicely. So that's a $35 addition. So let's see the damage on this one. Wow, this is gonna be a big difference. $945 total in this binder. And we're gonna take that from the 1525, $580 difference. And I'm just gonna say difference, I'm not gonna say loss because all of this money was used except for passports for what it was meant for. So it's okay that we're behind again. We will build it back up, that's what we do. And moving on to the dated binder. So we're gonna start with Christmas and I just count the Christmas cash gifts. I don't count what's in my credit union. So for Christmas cash, we have one, two, 
one, two, 100, 200, 20, 40, 2, 44, 46, 48, 50. 250 dollars. $93 added to that one. And car registration. So this was paid in February. So uh, we're building it back up for next February. We have 20, 45, 47, $48. So we added $34 there. And moving on to Amazon. Amazon is due in August, so it's almost fully funded. We have $120, $32, So we added $42 there. And Disney Plus is also due in February. We have $51 for Disney Plus. So we added $26 there. And moving on to ID theft, which is not due till November. We have 20, 40, 60, 75, 77, 78 dollars. So we added $36. Let's make sure I did that math right. Yeah, $36 there. And then wedding, of course, is super exciting because we definitely added a good amount here. So we have 1,100, 200, 300, 400. So 1,400 in the high yield savings and 25. So we have $1,425 for wedding, which is a $325 addition, yay. All right, moving on to Microsoft. Microsoft has an even 20. which means we are uh, have a difference of $80, but that's because it was paid in May. So it was paid this quarter. Moving on to Carb Manager, and this comes out at the end of the year. And this is an app that I paid for. We have $22, which means we added $10. And then waste management is a new category I did not have before. And we have five, seven, eight dollars in there because that is a quarterly bill. And then the final one that's new is butcher box and we have just two dollars in there. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. $2,038. And we're gonna add that to the 945. That gives us $2,983. And we had 3067 So it's only a difference of $84, so that's not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna move on to these last two binders that I track. Now I do have my revolving binder and my savings challenges. I just don't track them. These are the ones that I track. Um, so it's just how I like to track my sinking funds. So we're going to start with tips, and tips has $25.26, which is a $6 addition. All right, moving on to fun. We have $20.45.47, which is a $7 addition. And food, $20.40.52. Which is also a $7 addition. 
And Lodging has 20, 40, 50, 2, 54. Which is a $9 addition. Spending has 20, 40, 52. Which is $7 addition. Transportation is 20, 40, 60 dollars. Which is a ten dollar addition there. Moving on to beauty has twenty five twenty six. And I'm pretty sure miscellaneous has the same twenty five twenty six. Yep. And souvenirs has twenty forty five forty seven. is a seven dollar addition and finally emergency has 20 41 which is a six dollar addition Four hundred and thirty-one dollars minus three sixty, which means this quarter we've added seventy-one dollars to this binder. And the final one is my YouTube binder, and we're gonna start with taxes. Now taxes, I did my taxes in quarter two, or paid to get them done. So we have two hundred dollars that we've added to it. Since then, because I think I spent most of it to get my taxes done. So we have 200. So we're difference of $69. Giveaways is empty. So we have zero there. So that's a difference of $50. Moving on to P equipment. Oops. I don't know why it's listed differently than what, how it's in here, but we're gonna go with equipment. We have 20, 40, 60 for equipment. Equipment is 60, 35, 70, so $25, right? 60 minus 35, yeah, 25. And then we have P.O. Box, which will be spent very soon because my I'm getting a new P.O. Box. We have 100, 20, 40, 60. 160 in P.O. Box. Which is $60 more. Supplies is empty. And then subscriptions was actually in a different binder, but I did move it here. So it's a little different than tracking it last time, but we have 21 for subscriptions. Which is a $17 addition. Okay, so we have 200 plus 160 plus 60 plus 21, which equals $441 minus 468 equals, so we are have a difference of $27 here. Okay, so I'm gonna take page one, which was 4590. And then page two was 2983. And then, I didn't do page, I didn't do this page yet. So we had 431 plus, 441 equals $872 minus 828. So it was a total for this page was a $44 addition, which was nice because it wasn't in the negative for once, right? 441. Yeah, we actually had a positive number for this. It was $44 more for those two binders, binders total. All right, so. We are going to total this up. So 
So the total for all three was eight, four, four, five. We're gonna take that from eight, seven, eight, nine. So we have a difference of 344. Now, if you recall at the end of quarter one, I did have over $10,000. The, diff the main difference here is I'm not counting my MacBook savings, which was in there uh, originally. So it was over 10,000 um, and I'm down to 8,445. But without the MacBook, it would have been 8789. So a $344 loss considering, uh, and, and I say loss with a grain of salt because um, a lot of, a, of what was used um, where you see uh, minus signs is what it was meant for. So I'm not complaining. The fact that I still have $8,445 in sinking funds is amazing to me and like i said that does not count my revolving binder it doesn't count what's in savings challenges at this moment i'm just counting what is in these seven binders um, these are the ones i just like to track every quarter and see where i'm at and see the progress and so that's where we're at we still have over eight thousand dollars in there um, almost 8,500 in um, between here and, and obviously a lot that is in high yield savings accounts, but that's it. I just like to do my quarterly sinking funds totals and see where I'm at. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try and fast forward this the best I can because it's pretty long as usual. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I do um, try my best to respond to comments. I'm not very good at it, but I do try. <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Next video will be my debt update. So yeah, that's not so pretty. But like I said, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. You guys take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.